What's up guys, this is Inhaze, and this is going to be a short video showing some of the spirals that can be created with the new World Edit Craft scripts I made. Um, I'm going to actually have a tutorial showing how to use them and how all the parameters work in another video, but this is just going to be uh, showing off some of the things that you can do with it. So uh, this is just a test world I had to uh, create and uh, show off some of the different things that are possible. So, I'm going to go through and explain. This is just a quick little view right here. This is the first kind. This is like the most basic kind. Looks like a spring. And that was created with a cylinder base block. And this is the, this is the uh, main type of uh, spiral, the cylinder spiral. There's one other type too. And this is actually another uh, version of it that was created with that uh, square, or not square, uh, cross down there and that was just wrapped around and that's actually a double spiral double helix type and so is this one right here and this was generated just with like a single long line of uh, grass I believe and it just got dark for some reason there we go so I think this one actually looks really cool it's really thin that way and it's really like it looks like a ribbon over here and it like spirals each direction I don't know I just really thought that was cool looking and this is actually the other type this is the conical type spiral where it actually starts spreading out in a different direction where it's not just the same radius the whole way through and you can actually see here's another version of it where the parameters were changed and this one's a lot more stretched out and it has a lot bigger gap in between the sections so it's not like all crunched together <clears throat> and there's another one same kind I think is that other over there and it just slowly loads you can see it's very slowly this is another version of it it's kind of like a disc where it's really uh, really wide and it's really uh, there's not much gap I mean there's a few gaps here and there but overall it's almost completely connected in between the spiraling segments <clears throat> and down here is actually a flat version that spreads out and this is kind of where the whole uh, conical script came from it started out as like a flat one and then I just applied some values to uh, slowly raise it out or up as it went spreading out so it kind of made it a 3d version which I think makes it really cool. So that's some over there. Here's a bigger version of it made of ice. And <clears throat> a few other ones. This one's made of stone. This was made out of a disc base block, a couple of discs or cylinders stacked on top of each other. And this and most of the other ones was just like cubes that were used as the base block. It can really make a big difference on just the overall look of how the spiral uh, takes shape and here's one where I had it on a uh, horizontal alignment and there's actually different flags you can use to change if it's going to be flipped or horizontal or vertical or uh, a few different ways <clears throat> so let's go over here here is another example of the cylinder type spiral, uh, double spiral on this one. And this is actually, this one's pretty interesting looking I think. And the uh, base block I used for it was this section right here. It was actually just another chunk I took out of a side of another spiral I created just to see kind of what it would look like if I tried making it into a spiral end. It actually turned out pretty cool. I think it's a pretty interesting little shape how it weaves in and out like that almost touching but I don't think it ever really does uh, maybe it does right there and here are some other examples of that this one's made out of glowstone and this one out of vine that's another double and that's a single and these were actually uh, a, just a block of random a pattern of random air blocks random glowstone that I used and it's over here somewhere if you really want to see it something like this I just took this 
copied it and then used that as the base and that's how those came about that's why it looks really rough like that that one kind of looks like a braided hair or something I think and this one looks like big vine like Jack and the Beanstalk or something I don't know <clears throat> here's a few other other examples over here slowly loading it's kind of a big cone there's a couple over here here's like a thinner version of it it's a really small one and right here is a big version of it this one is like a floating a huge almost floating island type deal the exact it uses the exact same script just just different pattern or just different parameters and it's completely hollow and see this one the uh, the gap between them is just it's so tight that it is completely connected I don't know what's going on there there's a couple spots that are open but I'm sure you could close that up if you really wanted to <clears throat> let's come back over here and I'll show you this is a horizontal one I made where I put the horizontal flag on and you can make them obviously if you're going horizontal you can make them a lot longer there's no limit and I accidentally put in I don't know what parameter it was but this thing extends I'm not sure how far past this void section and into the normally generated terrain and beyond that I think that just proves like this thing is pretty powerful So, this is another version of it. That, that was a double. <clears throat> and this is a single. This was actually made up of four different materials. Sand, sandstone, dirt, and stone. So it just shows you can really use any materials. This is just like a stretched out version of that where I just extended it down before I put it into the script. Here is... Uh, cone one and this was like there's the pattern I used for that the base block pattern and see you can make some really interesting stuff that you really might not think it would I think that looks like another cool like floating ice island or something I can see that being in like an adventure map and here's kind of the same thing as those other ones so but those are just a few examples of <clears throat> some of the things you can create with the uh, the scripts I made. I, I think it's really cool. Um, it's a lot faster than the other way I was doing it. And I think people can make some really cool stuff with it. It really opens up a lot of doors, I think. And cause I know spirals just in general are pretty much, I mean, it would be a pain to hand build. And these things are all generated with one selection in one command so that's all you have to do and it allows you to experiment with a lot of different building techniques which I think is really fun really opens the doors to other things so I'm gonna be putting some links to the tutorial video so people can uh, figure out how to do it themselves or I'll show them how to do it I should say and uh, yeah if you like this video make sure to favorite, comment, upvote, and subscribe.